Well, welcome back to Pro Photo Insights. Today we're in my office and um, we're going to do a little video about workflow and archiving your work. Um, this is probably one of the most important videos you can probably watch at this series because um, it's okay going out and taking fantastic pictures and coming back and retouching them and creating these wonderful masterpieces. But if you have any kind of uh, problem at home with your computer system and all your images are only on your computer system, then you're going to lose a whole lot. And uh, obviously that'd be quite devastating. So I'm going to look at uh, ways that you can easily um, archive your images onto several storage uh, mediums and try and ensure that uh, you're, um, you're, you're, you're basically safeguarding your collection of work. Also, uh, which is probably as important, is, is um, a way of actually finding the images that you've shot. So let's say you've uh, you've accumulated, you know, a um, six gig, say, let's just say six years, which is quite a small collection of images. Even that six gigs, to try and go back through it and find a, a one particular image you shot is going to be a nightmare unless you've obviously keyworded um, and maybe even renamed your files. So I'm going to show you the workflow that I use. I'm not saying it's the 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 way to do it it's the way it works for me and just give you perhaps give you a few ideas of how you could implement something yourself so uh, as I said we'll start off we'll uh, we'll show you my folder systems and then we'll be uh, downloading our images of our flash card and I'll show you how we can convert those into other formats Okay, so before I uh, show you how I download the image and uh, so forth, I just want to show you uh, my folders that I use. Um, on here, you'll see a folder called Image Folders. This is basically a blank folder um, which I use, and uh, you'll see these these are actually job folders uh, with images in. I basically renamed this one with uh, with a description, a date description. Uh, for instance, this is the one we're going to be working on. This one says 2009 dash. 01 January dash 05 which is the 5th of January 2009 then I've got a, a job number um, this one is J0000 dash PERS which basically tells me um, there's not particularly job number for this one it's personal work which is PERS uh, abbreviated for uh, this one here tells me it's 2009 January the 2nd. Uh, again, no job number, but the abbreviation on the end, PRPI, stands for Pro Photo Insights. Um, and that's how I tend to set those up. So it's basically date led with a small description on the end, which uh, doesn't mean a lot to you, but it means a bit to me. Uh, and that means I can, you know, if I'm looking for some images I'm shot in 2005, I can narrow it down by the uh, date there. And if I do know I shot it in, say, November, again, I can narrow it down a bit further. Um, but I can also use, obviously, a digital digital asset management system also to, uh, to use to find by keyword different images as well which I'll show you a bit later. So yeah, so the blank folder um, I use is basically just got these folders inside. So I'll show you this one which we're working on. So I click it and inside is another folder which has got another description. This one's called Ilton Skies. And again, it's just another way of, of searching. Um, so I can look uh, inside that folder and know that uh, I've got uh, some images of skies shot in Ilton, which again, I means means something to me. It might not mean something to you, but again, it could be anything. You could put in, um, I don't know, a fireworks, um, you know, Cornwall or what have you, and it probably you know be more descriptive to you than anybody else. But uh, again, it all helps trying to find stuff. If we click inside again. Uh, I've got several other folders. One's called Camera Raw, which all my Camera Raw images go into. I've got a folder for the finished images, so after I've done a bit of post-production on them, um, TIFFs or JPEGs, I can put them in a the finished folder. Um, I don't need to worry about this one. I'll stick that one in there for now. Um, then I've got the masters. Now, the masters are the uh, Photoshop PSD layered files. So, you know, I've got quite a good organisation. I know uh, where I'm looking again for the images. Uh, click on command a or select all and now I want to do uh, rename these images um, so we go to tools batch rename and what I'm going to do is rename these um, with the same file name as our folder which was 2009 um, 0 oops 01 uh, dash uh, I think it was 05 
then dash uh, no job numbers that says J and then four zeros it's personal so it's dash P E R S and the sequence number it starts at one so you'll see down here it's going to be renamed from this number camera rule file number straight from the camera which means nothing to something a bit more descriptive and this one is going to be 2009-01 which is January dash zero five and then my job number, personal, and then on the end of that we've got the actual file number. This one's uh, named with triple zero one and so forth. So these be named in order. So I'm going to preserve um, current file name in, within the exif data. Uh, don't ask me why, but it's something like again I always do. Um, and there we go. They're all re renamed from one right down to 18 uh, with our file number and plus the uh, actual number of the, um, the the actual individual image so that's that done the next thing I'll do then is to uh, again select them all and then I will go to file info and I've got a preset um, in the uh, in the camera raw here I've got a preset already done called uh, plant copyright and that automatically adds in my copyright information to the images click OK and that will uh, embed that information to all the images I then will go to a uh, tool uh, window workspace and get my keywording panel up and in here uh, this is a whole new whole video in itself is the keywording I've built these up over oh god years um, are there, there are different keywords that I've used for different jobs that I do and different types of images that I I, um, I produce for instance um, I've got one here which is called uh, clients so I can just click on those and add the client name I've got one here for cars that makes a model so we've got all the different cars like Bentley uh, BMW um, and so forth um, and all types like diesel and the model numbers again um, just they're things that I've used on a fairly regular basis or use on big jobs and I keep them uh, in folders there so that if I need to find them anytime for instance if I put down here I want uh, sky it will show me I've got sky in there already and I can just click on that and that's going to name all the files that are in there. Well, we don't want to name those Sky because they're not Sky, but all the uh, files that I want to name Sky are now named. Um, I hope that you'll um, take some of this on board and uh, and start from uh, start archiving your work and uh, try and safeguard it uh, from uh, any possible, God forbid, disasters. Anyway, thanks for watching Profile Insights. Be sure to check out profoinsights.net forward slash forum uh, where we've got a nice little community building up there. And um, I hopefully we'll catch you on the next video. Cheers.